welcome to Night Productions. Now, everyone, I have a, I have a very special. I have some. I have. A, this is a very special video because we have two guests. Everyone, welcome the Winter Knight and the Scarlet Knight. Now, everyone, these Hello. are two other knights. This is the Scarlet Knight, and here's the Winter Knight. So, everyone, today we're going to be making um, chili elixir. Um, it's a. It's an item from the Legend of Zelda, and it will lower your body temperature. So, everyone, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so for our ingredients today, we've got some raspberry dried leaves. We've got some dried sage. We've got chamomile. We have green tea leaves. We've got mint and sugar. Now this is all gonna be steeped in one cup of water. So that will be our tea. And then for our syrup, we're going to be using watermelon juice, which we got from a watermelon. We just blended it up and filtered it out. So we get this nice pure juice. So this is one cup of watermelon juice. We're gonna be using agave, sugar, and lime juice for our syrup. And then it's all going to be dyed blue with some blue food coloring. Okay, so these are all the ingredients. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so um, first we're gonna head over here to our stove and um, um, Winter is gonna come over here and tell you what else to do. And um, so yeah, Winter, take it away. All right, here we go. So first you need, you're gonna heat your teapot um, and you're gonna add your one cup of water into your teapot. And then you're gonna set that to boil on high and then we'll come back when that's all ready to go. All right, so now we're gonna add, as we're waiting for that to boil, our one cup for our syrup of watermelon juice and our fourth cup of lime juice. And then we're gonna put that on high and let that boil. All right, we're off to a boil now. And you see all that lovely, lovely smoke coming through? All right, so now we're gonna add our ingredients. So you have your one tablespoon of chamomile, which looks like little itty bitty baby flowers. And you're gonna wanna tap that in there. Try not to burn your fingers off with the steam. And then you're gonna add your one tablespoon of long leaves of green tea. Sift it around a little bit. Add that in. Still try not to burn your fingers off. And then you're gonna wanna add your one tablespoon of razzleberries. Well, the leaves, not the razzleberries themselves, but. And then, your half tablespoon of mint, which is very fresh, gonna make it have a little fresh in the nose as you cool yourself down on a hot summer's day. Then you're going to add your one tablespoon of sage. And then you order them very neatly in case if you're OCD. And then you put that lid back on and then you let it go for around 10 minutes. Turn that off right there. Let it just steep, get all that yumminess in there. You can spin it around and burn your fingers a little bit if you want to. Um, and then we're gonna get started on the syrup. Now you're gonna wanna add your fourth cup of sugar into your syrup. This is nice and boiling at this point. And then your one tablespoon of agave. Drip it in there. This will definitely make it sweeter and just give it that yumminess that this will have. Um, I only use technical terms. Um, and then we're gonna let that sit there for a while, an unspecified amount of time, as we let this get nice and yummy. We'll wanna stir it, obviously, because why wouldn't you stir it? And then remember to keep stirring it, keep watching it for about a length of time. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go with that. All right, so now that this is all stirred in, that unspecified amount of 
unspecified amount of time, was not a very long amount of time. Um, it was about 30 seconds long. And you just gotta stir it nicely, make sure it's all in there. And you're gonna wanna take it off the heat. Turn off the correct burner, so then you keep boiling your tea for the remainder of the time of nine minutes and seven seconds at this point. And then um, this syrup is gonna get nice and yummy as it sits there and waits for us to get this tea steaming. Four, three, two, one. Tea is done steeping. The tea is done steeping. Turn off your annoying <laughs> cook. Oh. Wait, what's happening? Ah! <laughs> wait, is it? Cook time. Oh, wait, there we are. <laughs> you learn how your uh, tools work before using them. Okay, and then what we're going to be doing is we are going to put the strainer on top of your watermelon juice, and then we are going to add your your beautiful tea into the into the watermelon juice slash syrup slash lime juice. So we're just going to add all of this in. It's gonna be very strong because it's been steeping for a whole 10 minutes now. 10 minutes, exactly. Although then you get the chili effect. Mm. Oh yeah. And then you can just dump this out. And then after, once we have this, we are going to um, add this into our, um, we're going to add this into our, our beautiful elixir jar. Okay, so here I am, I have my beautiful elixir jar. First, we are going to add two tablespoons of our sugar into it. Add that up, stir it a little bit so it can dissolve. Beautiful, just, just beautiful. Mm, that smells amazing. I am so excited to try this. This is going to be exciting to try. Ooh. I know, right? Wow. I know. Interesting. Very interesting. This is going to be absolutely amazing. Okay, after all of your sugar is completely dissolved, we are going to add this to our to our bottle. But first, let me grab the foam. Got the foam. We are going to add this right into the bottle. And right now, it looks like a health potion. But how do we fix that? Well, how we fix that is we will add a couple of drops of new food coloring until um, until your desired color. So let's just shake this a little bit. See how it turns out. Ooh. So, hmm. Anyways, we're going to add a couple more because it's kind of turning out into a grayish color. So we're going to add quite a bit of blue just to give it the nice bluish color, okay? Because this is going to take quite a bit of blue to be having that gray. There we are. That's a pretty blue. There we are. Let's add just a touch more blue, just just in case. Just add, add as much as you want. Add as much as you want, really. You don't have a precise measurement, precise amount of drops. Add but we as have much. a precise color. We have a precise color. Which is blue. <laughs> Not red. Not blue. We've got to get rid of all that watermelon red. Uh, all the watermelon red. And we have this beautiful blue now, chili elixir. So next we are going to let this um, chill in the fridge for an hour and we can take that out and then we'll be done. And then we can just add our fizzy water and we'll be done with our chili elixir. I see what you did there. You're gonna put it into the freezer to chill for the chili elixir. Oh yes. So... <laughs> now everyone, to start with, what we want to do is grab our chili elixir and we are going to pour this a quarter of the way. Just a quarter of the way up. Here we go, Winter. Thank you. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is add, fill the rest of it up with um, seltzer water, croy or anything, okay? I'm sure it fizz over. Oh gosh, scaring me. <laughs> that happened in the last episode. Tonic, it fizzed all. It fizzed all over everything. It was horrible. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Okay, just wait for the bubbles to go down and fill it with some more. And we put a little bit of ice in it before. This just looks absolutely beautiful. You can see all the bubbles coming off. We filled it with a little bit of ice just for this reason. We are going to put two mint leaves on top just for presentation. It's not actually in the game, but it just looks way better, okay? Here you go, Winter. Thank you. Winter green mint. Winter green mint. Here we are, just put that on top, and oh my gosh, does this look beautiful. Mm. We need some straws. Okay, we have some straws, and uh, here you go, Winter. Here you go, Scarlet. Thank you. Here we are. These are the types that you make little shakes with. <laughs> Shall we? Uh, yes. Uh, one, two, three. That was, that's really good. Mm -hmm. I, we could have put a little bit less syrup in it. Maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's really good. Oh, wait, wait, let's just stir it a little bit. That will, make, that will probably combine it. There we are, now it's a little bit of a lighter blue. Keep stirring. Ah! Guys, got a little bit of leak there. Okay. That is much better. Yes, it's quite good. That's really good. That is really good. This definitely cools you down. Yes. Oh, yes. Mm. Wait, what, what are you doing in here? We need to go outside. Yeah, we need oh to enjoy the sun with this. Let's go. Ooh, yeah. Hello, everyone. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, leave a comment down in the comment section below. You know how much I love reading those. And um, also, you can um, click the bell notification button. That way, you'll be able to you'll be alerted whenever I post any sort of new content, especially cooking videos. Hey everyone, I'll see you next time on, on Night, Night Productions. Productions. Bye! Bye. Oh, dang it. Okay, we gotta go take care of this. Ah! <laughs>